All right. Now this is a simple number pad sketch that I found online and uh, modified it so that uh, it could be used here. And if you press on the button, not only will it put out serial information that you can view on your computer, it'll print out the information right there in front of you. And you can see it work in there, hopefully. So this little numpad could be useful in all sorts of different applications. And here's the code for it. I uh, basically took uh, this person's code and modified it so that it would work with this particular unit that you're looking at. You can buy on Amazon. I'm not advertising for them, but I had trouble uh, getting it to work, and I'm just hoping this helps somebody else. You're going to need these libraries, uh, which I'll provide links to uh, later on in this post. And you're definitely going to want to change these settings here. These were not the default settings that came with uh, the application that you download from Adafruit. And these are your uh, calibration settings. You're going to want to make sure you get these set up properly. I've explained how to do that in other videos, but you're going to want to get the raw data to figure out what your edges are, and that'll set the edges and make your touch screen more accurate. Uh, you can look at my... Uh, other video called My TFT, which explains how to do that. And we just got some more settings here and some colors being defined, minimum and max pressure for the uh, sensors, and more information being defined here. This is just drawing uh, different things out your number pad and get down into your loop here. And it's going to try and detect whether or not you've got a, a button pressed and display it up on the screen for you. Or the serial port, depending on what you're looking at. Uh, this is a nice little function called Retrieve Touch. Now, this is one of the other areas I did have to modify. This was the default here. I changed it to this, and the reason, again, was that my numbers were not showing up right. I would press on 3. And number one would show up, or I press on one and three would show up. Of course, two and five and eight worked fine. But again, you hit nine and you get seven, or seven, you get nine. So I had to change things right here in order to get it to work right. So if you have any trouble with the numbers being reversed, you're going to want to check that little equation there. And you come down here, you've got create buttons. It's just. Uh, creates all those little buttons that are in there, prints them out, and this inserts numbers into those little boxes. Insert numbers. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you can find a use for this neat little number pad. Um, at any rate, uh, thanks.